What is up guys, welcome to another weekend, which is another flea market grab video. Today is day one, uh, so let's go see what we can find this week. Just pick these up for 40, this whole stack. So not really much going on. I mean, it is Saturday. Sunday is usually the day that it gets really busy. But I did end up picking up these GameCube games right here. As you can see, they're pretty good titles. And then I ended up picking up these um, grade school easy foam posits, which the lighting looks really ugly on them. But yeah, these are a size 6Y. But we'll go into more detail tomorrow when I do the recap. So let's get into day number two. Day number two, let's go see what we can find. What is up guys, welcome to another flea market grab video. If you are enjoying these videos, as usual, please hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. So first up, we are gonna get into yesterday's finds. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in a video before, but the flea market that I go to, it's really small, um, and it's kinda hidden. So it's really like hit and miss, um, but I do pick up what I can. So this is two days worth, it's not a lot, but it is something, I guess. So yesterday, Saturday, I picked up a stack of GameCube games and a pair of shoes. This is the stack of games right here which I actually got these all for $40. We have two copies of Luigi's Mansion, which I really love this game, so that's always good to find. Um, these two have already actually been sold. A copy of Metroid Prime, but this one is like the Target Edition, which is kind of cool, I guess. Resident Evil Zero, which I do not have, so I'll be keeping this one. The original Resident Evil Remake, I have this one already. And then this one is probably the best game out of the bunch, and this is the one I'm most excited about because I do not have this game. And that is the Legend of Zelda Master Quest, the um, Ocarina of Time. I think the only Legend of Zelda game that I need for my GameCube collection now is Four Swords, and I'll have all the Legend of Zelda games. But um, I was definitely happy to get this one, and the coolest thing is this is the only one in the bunch that's complete. I take that back, the Metroid Prime is too. So we got that stack for 40 bucks. And then for $15, yesterday I took the L on the Yeezy uh, 2.0 Belugas, but I did pick up a pair of Yeezy Foam Posits <laughs> in the Pure Platinum. These are a size 6Y, unfortunately, um, but honestly, I'm not really a big fan of this color on this model of shoe. Um, I don't know, to me, they just don't look right. I don't know if the bottoms on these are glow-in-the-dark or not. You guys can let me know, but um, we got the Yeezy Foam Posit Pros, Pure Platinums, in pretty decent shape. Uh, they do have a little heel drag, but like I said in last week's video, when I picked up the uh, Gone Fishing Foams, Always, every time I pick up a pair of foams, they always have heel drag like this. And the only main issue is just this little bit of scuffing on the inside of the right shoe. But other than that, they're good to go. Um, but these have been sold already as well. And then going back today, I only picked up two things. The first one being a Super Nintendo Control, an official Super Nintendo Control. Um, I've actually got rid of a couple of these lately, so I went ahead and picked up another one because I'm probably going to need it soon. And that was five bucks. And then these I kind of took a gamble on for $20. Um, I honestly don't know how well or how fast these are going to sell, but um, like I said, I gambled for 20 bucks, and that is the Air Jordan 12 Gym Reds, but these are a size 17. I was kind of hesitant on picking these up, but then I was like, I was thinking, 
I mean, I guess people do wear size 17s, <laughs> but then again, if they wear size 17, they're probably not buying used shoes because they probably play in the NBA. But these are in really good shape. They still have the Jumpman on the inside. Uh, the bottoms are dirtied, but I mean, they're used, what do you expect? But I don't know, just look at this. It's, these are huge. And there is the other one. I guess size 17s do sell. I don't know if they're gonna sit for a while, but for 20 bucks, I just went ahead and took the gamble on them. So those are my flea market pickups for this week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys next week with another one. So, later.